Hi everyone, welcome to Football Therapist and welcome to the first episode of this mini series and the Manchi Meeted, Manchi being Sevilla FC Sporting Director. After having explained the successful man management of Ecuadorian club Independiente del Valle's Academy and that of the Red Bull Salzburg, we're now looking at the man who's transformed. Um, we're now going to look at the man who's who's transformed uh, Sevilla FC since his appointment in 2000, when the club had big financial problems and was playing the Spanish second tier. 20 years let later. Sevilla FC is the fourth most important club in Spain, having won six UEFA or Europa Leagues uh, under Manchi. And one of the, the keys to this man's success is his recruitment method, which is precisely the subject of this video. But just before I start, I'd like to tell you that you will find in the video description an article that lists Manchi's best transfers to Sevilla, uh, so that you, you can get a better idea of the success he's had at this level. Now I finally be able to explain this famous um, scouting and player recruitment process of, this, of the Andalusian, of the Andalusian club. The first phase is called is called uh, growth tracking and takes place from July to December, period of time during which Manchi scouts watch as many games as possible to get to know as many players as possible. Of course. This is all planned. Uh, each scout is given a number of uh, competitions to follow, each competition belonging to a specific category. In category A, we find the championships in which the number of players likely to join Seville is the highest due to the level of play. Category B is made up of the second level leagues from more or less the same areas, uh, Europe and America, but this time also the northern part, there is the Liga MX and the MLS. Finally, we have Category C, where it's no longer leagues that are followed, but tournaments. In this way, the club ensures that they do not miss any player who would have performed uh, outstandingly at the African or Asian Cup, for, for example, to, to, to geographical areas that precisely do not figure in the other two categories. Each scout will, will therefore be given uh, three or four leagues to follow from July to, to December, often one class A league and two, three of class B, as the, there are more leagues in this second category. During this growth tracking period, scouts will be asked, to, will be asked each month to provide a, an ideal starting 11 of the class A league. A monthly report from the class B leagues is a little different though, as there's only one for the entire class. The scouts in it have to agree on the composition of this one, which is quite normal, as these leagues are not observed as sorrowsly as the of the category A. As there are many um, leagues and the number of scouts is no is not bigger than twelve, yeah, they are asked to to save time by following these different. B class leagues through the national teams players of the country in question. It would indeed be, it would indeed be stupid not to take advantage of the work of the youth and first team coaches who, in the case through, through their, their squad call ups, which players are to follow in the championship of the country in question, which is precisely mainly composed of local players uh, at this level. With that being said, it's important to know that not all players are allowed to enter these monthly starting 11s, as some of them will be unattainable for Sevilla FC from a, a sporting and, and or economic point of view anyway. For example, it would be useless to pick Mohamed Salah, who is an undisputed starter at a better club, and who would have a salary and transfer price that the, Andalu that the Andalusians couldn't afford. What's also important to mention is that the scouts combine the viewing of matches through a video platform like Scout or Insta with trips to the stadium from time to time to make sure that their opinion on player is in question doesn't differ depending on the type of, of viewing. Something that is also precisely put in practice at Red Bull Salzburg and that I explained on my video on the Austrian club, just like uh, other of, of their success secrets. 
Now back to Seville, where through these various ideal starting 11s, including those uh, achieved for each Class C competition, the club will end December with around uh, 500, 550 players in its database. After this first filter comes the net tracking phase, which runs from January to uh, May. During this period, there are not any classes A, B and C anymore, since only um, the players selected during the growth tracking are observed, and again not in any way. This time they will be observed by several scouts who, were, who weren't previously involved in, in the scouting of, of their league, and this in different contexts. A total of 6-7 new matches per player will be observed, both home and away, as well as against a team from the top of the table and against one from the bottom, with possibly also matches with the national team being being watched if the, if the player is selected. This allows them to, to get to know the player better and not, not be surprised if he doesn't perform well in a certain type uh, of matches. A point that the club can then work on directly when signing the player uh, should he end up in Andalusia. For each of these six, seven games watched, the scout in question assigns a grade to the player's performance, going from A to E, with A being the A being the best grade and E the worst. That is 3,000, 3,500 performance reports uh, graded because. You have to multiply by about five, uh, 500, 550 the number of players, uh, which uh, once past the second filter that, that I'm now going to present to you, will be only about uh, 150, 180, since Manchi will have looked at the different letters obtained by, by these players and will have kept the best ones, which therefore uh, will almost only A and B grade. To make this second filter, Monchi will also base himself on the reports of the previous seasons to know the player and, and his evolution better, since in addition to the grades from, from A to E of the, pre of the previous seasons, he will also reread the, the different details of these reports, which allows him to, to see if the player has been able to improve his weaknesses. So now you understand that criticizing Monchi for the signings he he's made during his two years spell at Roma is far too simplistic, given that he depends a lot on the work his scouts do in the first place. In this respect, it, it is also important to, to know that he was recruited in Ro um, by, Ro by, by Roma to make um, a financial profit so that the club could get rid of their economic problems, which, which means uh, poorer performances were to, to be expected as the squad had to undergo a lot of arrivals and reporters during each transfer window. By the way, you will find in the video description or an article from 2019 that objectively evaluates the, the contribution the, of, of the players Manchi brought to the club and you'll see that it is rather sa satisfying, it is rather satisfying, especially when you know that Spaniard didn't have the freedom he wanted to, to do his job in, in the Italian club. That's it, now we go back to Seville. After the second filter, we have um, 150, 180 players, which makes about 12, 15 names per position that, that we will have to rank in order to know, for example, which of the selected right backs would be the best for the club. And this is where you should react, guys, because in the end, two players in, this, in the same position can be, can be very good, but in different ways. Among the players who passed the, the two detailed filters, you can indeed find a, a central defender who is very good in the air, as well uh, as a central defender whose best quality is passing, for instance. So how can we establish this ranking per position if there are each time different player profiles? It's actually quite simple. You just have to ask the coach which position he wants to strengthen and how. However, this meeting with the coach only takes place uh, in, a in, in, in April, at least, at least since Monchi reorganized his planning, because when Unai Emery was still Sevilla's manager, 
Manchi used to, to ask him which profile he wanted for each position, position already at the beginning of the season. This seemed like a good idea, uh, until the day Unai Emery received and accepted an offer from PSG to go in and coach there. So Manchi was left with a list of profiles that didn't match those wished by uh, Jorge Sampaoli, who succeeded Unai Emery at that time. Since this episode, Manchi has therefore always been working with any type of player profile since the coach can, can leave at any time. It's also why this meeting with the coach only takes place in April, because by that time it's usually known who the coach will be the following season. But this is not the only experience that has forced uh, Manchi to change his planning, since in addition to the Emery case, an older situation also forced him to review his strategy, the Dragutinovich case. Although the Serbian def defender's transfer to Seville was um, a success, as he, he's played uh, an important role there for, for, several, for several years, Monchi claims that he had a struggle of luck with him as he made a mistake at the time. In fact, he didn't anticipate the departure of Sergio Ramos at the end of the transfer window and therefore didn't draw up a, a list of defenders able to replace the, the indulgence. Due to uh, time constraints, he then had to buy Dracun Dragutinovic based on some uh, on some phone phone calls he had with experts of the the Belgian league, while the Serbian defender was playing. And although this worked out well for him, he was able to see in this transfer a mistake on his part. The history of the Emery, uh, of the Emery and Dragun Dragutinovic cases are therefore the, the reason why Manchi wants a database filled with players of every type of profile and for every position. So after this meeting with the coach uh, in April, the, the club will be able to, to establish a ranking for each position to know which player they should try to get first, who would be the second if a transfer is then not possible, with then the number three, the number four, etc. Et and you have to know that, the, that it's not only the technical tactical profile of the player established through scouting reports and the, statis and the statistical data that, that is decisive here, because as we will see in my next video, the, the episode 2 of this series on the recruitment me method of Manchi Sevilla FC, physical, psychological and economic profiles will also be uh, established. So if you want to know more about it, uh, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as to my Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn accounts uh, that you can find in the description, so that you don't miss anything. And if you and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to let me know about it in the comment section, to click on the blue, uh, on the blue thumb and to, uh, to share the video. It would help me a lot uh, more than you think. Bye bye.